Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. And a couple hours ago, I uh, updated my uh, iPhone 4 here to iOS 5 Beta 1 so I could demo um, some of the new features that have been added and that were announced yesterday at WWDC 2011. So let me go ahead and show you that my device is in fact running iOS 5 Beta 1, as you can see right there next to the version column. So in this video I thought I would demo um, Notification Center and show you guys all the new features that come along with that. I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, Messages app here. I'm just going to go ahead and send a text message to myself. So I'm going to send, hey, I'm going to quickly back out of the app so I can show you the new notifications. And as you can see the notification pops up there. It's very subtle and it's not as obtrusive as the uh, previous notifications were in iOS 4 that forced you to decide between uh, to reply right then or to just go ahead and close out the notification. So the notification then just goes away after a couple seconds. So this time I'm going to send myself that same message again. This time back out. Now when the notification appears you can also just tap on it and it will bring you right into the application that the notification was sent from. So this is kind of nice, especially if you're watching a video or playing a game and you don't want to be interrupted with those notifications, you can simply just ignore it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and actually send that same message uh, to myself again. This time I'm going to back out and go to the lock screen. And as you'll see, the notifications also appear on the lock screen, and you can simply go into that application by uh, sliding it, like so. As you can see here, it's basically just slide to unlock, but this is going to take me right into the uh, messaging app. So I'm going to go ahead and send that again. This time I'm just going to back out. And there's the notification again. I'm going to wait for it to go away. It'll take a couple seconds. And when it has gone away, you can uh, also drag down where the time is on the uh, top of the iPhone. And that will pull up the notification center. And it will show this notification here that I missed, this text message. Uh, it will also show you stocks and weather. You can customize that in the uh, settings application so that's pretty nice and then you can just swipe up and it'll go away so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the settings with notification center and the different things that you guys can customize now so you can customize the notifications um, by manually or by time in which they came uh, you can also customize what kind of a notification you want to receive the alert is the um, notification that you would have received in iOS 4, the more obtrusive one that showed up right in the center of the screen, and you had to either choose to close it out or immediately respond to that notification. The banner is uh, the new iOS 5 um, notification that it's more subtle and it appears at the top of the screen as I just showed you, and none, there would just be no notification at all. And this can be customized for every single default app that you have. This will probably be updated when all the uh, applications that you have downloaded on your iOS device, you will probably also be able to customize what kind of notification you want to receive with that as well. Uh, you can also change how many recent items you want to see in Notification Center. So you can choose up to 10 or have as little as 1. Uh, you can also choose whether or not you want to view it in the lock screen, and you can also turn off Notification Center for a certain app if you didn't want to have it at all. So this has been an inside look at the new notification center announced yesterday at WWDC 2011. Uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this. Like the video and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. And uh, watch out for more iOS 5 Beta 1 demos coming soon.